In this video, we'll be covering how to get the world position of one object and transfer it to another. Um, we could do this with a mail script, but that doesn't necessarily work for animation. You know, it's good for calling up uh, one time and querying the world transform position of one object. But uh, you know, if you need that to constantly update as you're moving it, that may not work. But we could do that with a node uh, in particular, something called a decomposition node. Um, and so what I have as far as my setup right here is I have two controls. Uh, this control is a child of this control. And you can see if I move this one around, the top one follows and this one just moves the object. Um, and what I want to do in this particular case is I want to get the overall rotation on this object to get it on this object down here. Uh, so let's go ahead and position this. and. Uh, you know, so the main reason I want this is something like this case where um, I could just take the rotation value off of here and put it on here, but it doesn't account for the rotation of the secondary control. And there might be multiple controls in your hierarchy that are affecting a rotation that you want to somehow match for some reason. Um, you know, it, this might be an example of like an IK spine or something like that, where you need to just get uh, a, a twist attribute off of this. Um, but you you need to account for all the controls down below that are also twisting this. Um, th there's a lot of scenarios that they, they come up specifically, but you know, essentially you want world position to drive something else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring over my node editor here, and I'm going to select both these cones that I have. And again, this is just kind of an example. You wouldn't necessarily do it this way, but it's a simple setup to show the concept. Uh, so cone one is the first cone I made, and cone two is the one that I want to drive it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click in here and say create node and move this window over into my recording area. Uh, I'm going to go down here to utilities and I'm going to find, where is it? There it is, uh, decompose matrix. I think I said that wrong previously. It, uh, I think I said decomposition, but uh, decompose. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And it's a pretty simple setup. So if I want the world position, uh, I'm going to take the world matrix of this object. Uh, by the way, I'm just I'm clicking on this little circle, left clicking, world matrix. And I'm going to plug it into, I guess it's going to make me do other. You know, what, let's just do this through the connection editor. And everything's opening on another window. Okay, so I'm gonna load up cone one as the from and the decompose matrix as the two. I'm gonna scroll down until I find world matrix, that's right there actually, and plug it into the input matrix. Uh, and actually I need that still. Let me bring that back up. That's too big, okay. Uh, and I'm going to switch positions. So uh, decompose matrix is <clears throat> is now the uh, from, and cone two is now the two. And in this case, I just want rotate. So I'm going to do output rotate to the rotation of cone two. And if we look now, they are facing the same angle. So if I rotate the first controller, I'm getting values plugged into rotation. Or if I rotate the second controller, same thing. Or if I had any other amount of hierarchy, it's, it's looking at its overall position in the world and putting it there. Um, now, if you look back in there, we could do. We have other options too. I could, because I, I I'm using the whole transform matrix. You know, it accounts for things like translate, scale, shear, other things like that too. So, say I need this to follow one to one, and you know, for some reason a parent constraint doesn't work for what I'm doing. You know, the Sometimes parent constraints are glitchy. They they freak out as things rotate and kind of flip along the way, especially the, the gimbal rotation order isn't the same and things like that. Um, so I could also hook up output translate if I wanted to. And it looks like it disappeared, but it didn't. They are just right on top of each other now. So where I move one, the other goes. Cone two, cone one. And again, that's just decompose matrix. It basically is a easy little node you get to 
get the world transform position of an object uh, and hook it up through direct connection. Um, for times where expression won't work, where mail script won't work, um, and, and this solves really fast and easy. So you know, the, uh, utility nodes are always better than expressions because they don't solve only on animation. So expressions only solve when you scrub. Um, these are just solving all the time. So when you move it, it's updating real time in screen. Um, so hopefully that helps you out in whatever project you're doing. That's some new information. Uh, it's something I use every once in a while for specific scenarios, but uh, is very helpful when I do need it. So again, decompose matrix. And again, you can just find it same, same shader creation uh, window that when you are making stuff in the hyper shader, uh, the easy way to find it is just filter out to utilities. And it's, it's usually like in the first screen or so, decompose matrix. So uh, that's that. Keep learning and uh, check out our other videos if uh, you are still looking for information.